Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're looking at a remote line today from Titman. This is the Titman HP or high pressure coiled remote line with slide check. Uh, so remote lines are pretty straightforward. We've seen a, a bunch of different variations of them. Some with a straight cable, some with a coiled cable, some with the micro line cable. This is a coiled version, so it gives you some of that stretch that you're looking for, uh, but still keeping it in a nice compact little setup. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with a remote line, what is a remote line for? Why would people be using a remote line? So typically, you'll see remote line setups for people who are playing longer games, woods ball games, scenario games, where you might be out in a game for a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And a lot of people want to take the weight of the gun and try to mitigate it as much as possible, try to, to make it as light as possible, since they're going to be carrying it around for quite some time. So one way to do that is to get the tank off of the gun and move it maybe towards a pack or a harness or something on your back. And to do that, we use a remote line. So we've got uh, the MG100 just here as a, a just a demo gun, a tank, basic tank right here to show you how a remote line works. So there's a couple components to the remote line. There's the, um, the on off portion, this is actually called a UFA. This is a universal fill adapter. This is where the tank is going to screw on. So this would screw on right up here. And this would then control the gas coming out of the tank. So we're going to take this. And we're going to just thread it right on. Now until I screw this piece down and into the valve assembly, no gas will come out. I turn this, this will gas up. I'm pretty sure there's no gas in this tank. I know there's not. So right now, gas would be on and gas would be flowing into the remote line. Now there's two sections down at the bottom down here. We've got our slide check, which is right here. And then this is called a reducer, this portion back here, and then our, um, our quick disconnect fitting. So this assembly, our fitting and our reducer, is going to go into the back of the gun and it's going to stay in there. If you're using a remote line setup, this portion will stay in the gun. You don't need to remove it because it can easily be attached and detached out of the gun. So this stays inside there. That way you're not unscrewing anything. This part, however, has the slide check in it. So there's a little assembly right here that can move front to back, right? And this controls the gas flow out of the end right here. We've already turned our valve on, so air is coming through, through the coils, and then to here. If we have the slide, this piece right here, in the rear position, it will stop this gas flow right here and will not let it come out the other side. This allows us to connect or disconnect our hose from the gun without having to turn the air source off. We can simply slide the slide backwards. It cuts the airflow and we can disconnect the gun. Now to uh, connect the gun or start playing, I guess if, you, if this was the first time you're putting it on for the day, we would have our slide back. We would gas the gun up so air comes through but stops right here. We would then connect to the gun and when we are ready, slide forward, gas goes through into the marker, and we are ready to play. If we need to set the gun down or disconnect the gun, uh, take a lunch break, whatever we want to do, you can cut the line right there and then disconnect. Now, if you just disconnect right away, when you pull this off, you're going to get a little bit of a puff of air because there is air from the slide check right here to right about here. So there is a little bit of stored air right there, but it'll just go when you disconnect. Or what you can do is you cut the gas line, pull the slide back, shoot the gun one or two times. That will clear any air out of the system right here. And then you can disconnect with no puff of gas. Either way, it's up to you. What one thing I do want to uh, talk to you guys about or say is when you are connecting any kind of quick disconnect fitting, whether it be to a remote line right here, or if you are filling your air tank right here, it's the same kind of fitting that's on here, that's right here. You want to make sure that the collar snaps into place. I pull the collar back, slide it on, and then I want to hear that snap. 
and where it locks into place. It is possible to stick this on and not get it to go all the way closed. I'm trying to get it right at the edge. This one is good, it's not doing that. But it can be really, really close. And what will happen is when you go to gas the system up, this piece will just go and it'll fly right off and it could hit you, it can break things. I've seen it happen. I've had a loader broken by someone next to me filling up their gas line. Their hose blew off of their fill station and whacked my loader and smashed my loader and all my paint fell out. So that was a fun start to my day right there. But be very careful, make sure that you snap that all the way on, gas the line up. When you're done, disconnect it, pop it off. It's super simple. Remote lines are great for beginners. They're great for people who play long games. They're people who wanna get the weight off of their gun. Um, and people, or I don't wanna say um, kids or younger players who just can't carry around heavy equipment all day long. This is a perfect setup for them. <clears throat> so, Tipman high pressure coiled remote line with slide check available through the website. Orders now through ansgear.com.